while my husband was sleeping, getting ready for night shift, my husband got a call telling him that work is starting and I started getting all the last minute stuff ready. We got everything organized inside and closed up all the slides, got a cap on the pellet stove and we are getting ready to go to our campground. And I'm actually really scared because we've never actually driven with this thing before. <laughs> we've had this thing camped in our in-laws yard since we bought it in the beginning of 2018. That is so tight. <laughs> That was a good job. That was a good job. That's what that was. <laughs> the cap I put on there. Fifth wheel's all ready to go, everyone's all fed and watered, and I just got off the phone with my mom because I sent her a picture of the truck, and they were like, oh my gosh, we're happy! According to my hubby, it's my bad because I wasn't spotting properly. He told me to go to the back window and make sure that I wasn't going to get blown out, and so I thought immediately, like, oh, the back window of the fifth wheel, ran to the back, and like, I was watching, I was... Spotting. I had my camera on watching. <laughs> it was getting close to a tree, so I thought like that's what he meant was the a tree blowing out the back window. But no, he meant the back window of the truck. And it nearly did blow out. So yeah, that's all my fault. My mom's like, no, it's not your all your fault. It's clearly half his fault. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take the blame, because damn, that's not good. <sighs> that truck is my baby too, but I guess it's more his baby than mine. Okay, I'm not exactly fed yet. I'm still eating my toast. I don't know what time is that. I'm still... It's almost noon. So I feel like we're actually finally setting off for real. For real doing this whole camper thing we're living our full-time life i mean we've been living in this thing full-time like we lived in it full-time all last winter with the pellet stove it was a breeze i mean my toes were kind of frozen on the minus 40 night so i had to wear like woolly socks but it was definitely survivable especially with that pellet stove that pellet stove is a lifesaver i could not say that enough Okay, I just got the, are you ready to go? Okay, he's doing the last minute checks. And then, get this convoy on the road. It's right there, where that dot is. 
I know, it's not a baby snail. A baby snail? Yeah. Gotta say goodbye to our our camper, our truck camper, because this may be the last time I see it. Bye, buddy. So many memories in this thing. We're giving it to a friend of ours. So hopefully, this thing has more memories to come. You guys, all ready to go? Bye to Grandpa. Bye. Bye. Because our fifth wheel is going down the road. We just saw a little forest hike in the Tamarack Trails. We're trying to find the beaver dam. It's really beautiful in here and it's not raining right now, so we're really enjoying ourselves on this <sighs> nice walk. We're just collecting some old man's beard. We're going to start a fire with it later. And we're going to walk this way, but there's no way around that. I don't know if you can see right behind me there is a huge bog. So we're turning around, going back the way we came. And collecting more old man's beard along the way. And I got a really cool mushrooms in there too. We're gonna look up what those are. The sun's coming out. It's so pretty. Hey Dan! Hi! <laughs>